London. For one night every year, a West End theatre becomes the crossroads of the world of cinema, the night when the leaders of the industry share the limelight with the stars. From far and near they arrive to be rewarded for a year of loyal service. Jack Hawkins. Diana Dawes. Charming film ambassadors from overseas, Gina Lollobrigida from Italy, and the lovely American star, Ava Gardner. A home groom rival in glamour and charm, Belinda Lee. The occasion is the 10th Royal Film Performance. Now the Queen, accompanied by the Duke of Edinburgh, arrives to grace this charity occasion. The performance is held on behalf of the Cinematograph Trade Benevolent Fund. The royal guests are received by its president, Mr. Reginald C. Bromhead. And a trustee of the fund, Mr. J. Arthur Rank. Presentations follow. greetings for Alfred Hitchcock and his wife. The famous director's film, To Catch a Thief, was chosen for this gala performance. So to the presentation of the stars, among them Kenneth Moore, Virginia McKenna and June Thorburn, for each of them a crowning moment in a year of film endeavour. On receiving a copy of the gala programme, the Queen was charmed by the cover design, a reproduction of a painting by Pietro Anigoni. The original has been donated to the fund by the artist, who is famous for his portrait of Her Majesty. The bouquet was presented by Miss Christine Bartholomew. Looking radiant in her gown of white satin, with a boat-shaped neckline and a flared skirt, the Queen receives the homage of stars from five countries into the crowded auditorium for a show that makes a generous contribution to the cinema's own good cause and honours an industry that ever strives to provide the finest entertainment through the medium of the silver screen. <laughs>